If you clicked on this video, you're probably struggling to find a good EQ for your Logitech headset. Now, what I've created is two professionally articulated master EQs for anybody to use that's available for the public. So, uh, first step is you have to open up Logitech G Hub. Now, you just download it from the Logitech website. If you have a Logitech headset, you should know how to download it. I'm not going to go through that because you guys are really smart. So what I have is the Logitech Pro X Wireless, but I used to have just the Logitech Pro X Wired, which I still do have, but I like to, you know, I like the wireless part and I also like the wired part. You know, they have their pros and cons, which, you know, the wireless one, it dies. It's, you know, battery powered. And the wired one, I can plug directly into my Elgato Wave 3 mic and it actually sounds a little bit louder. But I'm pretty sure you guys are, you know, experiencing very flat audio and you want that little bit of oomph in there. So, you know, let me provide that for you. So, the first thing that you're going to have to do is click on the community tab here. Now, I made a video before, but it was on the older version of the Logitech G Hub software. And then all you're going to want to do is type in my username up here at the very top. Moo is the Roo. Spelt just like that. After uh, an ordinate amount of time it should pop up this now you could click on this one but this is for the wired pro x headset what you want to click on is my profile and it should pull up all of my profiles here this one's for the pro x wireless and this one's for the pro x but what i have found this is the best middle ground for sound quality to footstep ratio and it also gives you a good you know equal round out of you know audio quality for everybody we can go through it here gone pro x wireless i can show you enable advanced eq that i think that just adds extra bands really it's just you know tuning up the lowers turning this part down turning up the mids slightly turning this part down and turning it up in my thought process is you separate out the bands to where you hear it better and you also boost it because the wireless headset i feel is very very quiet but the main thing that you're going to want to pay attention to is keep this enable surround sound thing off the reason why i say that is because it doesn't really do anything in my opinion it makes the sound quality worse but you want to keep this volume max i mean you can turn it up and down with your scroll wheel if you have the wireless headset if you have the wired one you have the little knob on the wire but it's really up to you um all of these presets don't really sound that good i mean yes you can click bass boost or cinematic they sound kind of similar but mine is professionally tuned to my liking and my liking is the best you know liking for my ears and i feel like everybody else should get to experience the quality that i have created here but if you do want a good thing for surround sound they do have a video that you can click right here that will tell you how to enable dolby atmos on windows 11